Welcome to the Crafty Kansan. Appreciate you joining me today. Today's project will be a wall hanging. And I started out by using this tobacco basket that was in the Easter section at Walmart. I believe it was priced at $3.48. Um, cute basket, but it wasn't really the color that I was looking for with this project. So I started to paint it with my Waverly chalk paint in truffle color. Now this basket was a little bit difficult to paint because there's so many nooks and crannies, areas where the rattan came together and it was kind of hard to get underneath there and I was struggling a bit with my little $1 uh, paintbrush from Dollar Tree. But I was able to get the inside painted and then I let it dry and turned it over and finish the other side. What we'll need for this project today is the painted Tabasco basket. Excuse me, can't talk today. This is a welcome sign that's also from the Dollar Tree. It came from a wind chime and of course the ever famous Jenga blocks. And I did paint the Jenga blocks to match the basket. Now the Jenga blocks are going to be put uh, into the basket underneath the lid and what that means is it's just basically going to be a support for the welcome sign. So as you can see here, I um, started to put the first one in, I got a little confused there. Don't know what was going on, but basically just set the Jenga block up underneath the lip and held it there till it was firm and dry. And then I also did the same thing on the other side. So this is going to be our support for the metal sign. I also um, did paint the sign. It was originally a silver and black, which I didn't really like for this project. So I painted it with some more truffle paint and I think I did a little bit of white and even some uh, Waverly wax on there too, just to kind of give it that brown look, but I didn't want it the same color as the basket. But anyway, so now that we have our supports in there, we're gonna go ahead and run a bead of glue down each side of the metal piece. And then I'm gonna place it on top of the two Jenga blocks that I glued to the inside lip of the basket. I'm gonna make sure I have it on there straight and centered. And there you go, that's that. So I know I needed to add something to just kind of dress it up a little bit and also to cover up the glue mess that I had made uh, when I put the metal sign on, excuse my little camera bump there, and I'm not really sure why I had such difficulties wrapping this little juke cord around the block and the metal part, but for some odd reason I was having a ton of trouble with my fine motor skills this day apparently so basically I'm just took a length of it cut it off wrapped it around so I could hide uh, the glue that was visible on the on the blocks so I did that to both sides I kept getting hung up a little bit here on this section so you'll see some camera stuff you probably don't want to see but that's okay you know the struggle is real Right? Sometimes when we try to do some, something in crafting, it doesn't always turn out the way we want it to. So I'm just finishing this up here with just another little dab of glue so we can cut it and wrap it and be done. I will say that this little juke cording did come from the Dollar Tree. Uh, it's a pack of three. It's over in the automotive section. Uh, the package has two of the brown color and one green color. And I do use this very thin uh, cording a lot. Uh, I use it in my crafts and I've used it in my garden. And I've, you know, it's just a handy thing to have to hang something and it's really thin. So um, I knew I didn't want to like do a bow here or anything. So I apologize that we're still watching me struggle with this cording. All right. Yay, we're at the end. <laughs> I 
And as you can see from the video, I'm still having trouble getting the cording where I want it to go. I got a little bit of glue on the side of the basket. And so I used some scissors to push that underneath. And now I need to clean up my mess that I made. Yes, this wasn't my finest crafting day. After I get that all cleaned up, I'm going to add some um, flowers to this wall hanging. And I decided to go with this bunch of lavender from Walmart. I believe it was 97 cents. Um, I love these bunches because they're so full and they just look nice. Um, they do kind of have a powdery coating on them. So when you are you know, making your craft, sometimes that powder, you could see from the picture there, how the powder kind of came off as I was using my husband's tin snips. Um, I did mark it to, to cut it off where I wanted it to be. And um, so basically after you get the greenery cut off, you're gonna stick it behind the welcome sign. And as you see me doing here, I left a little bit of the stem at the bottom because I knew I would probably want to put a bow on there just to finish it off. But right here, I'm just honestly sticking it behind the welcome sign. You could see the welcome sign is bowing a little bit there. I decided to secure it with a little hot glue behind the metal sign. You just wanna hold that down until it's dry. All right, and there we have the greenery in the basket. I thought this really needed something else to finish it off, so I decided to use some of my Dollar Tree burlap ribbon. And I've seen this ribbon a ton, uh, especially in the DIYs on YouTube, and I just think it's cute, and I love that it comes in different colors, and it just looks rustic, so. Um, I have several of these in the red and the black and the white polka dots. So uh, I chose the white polka dots. So I'm going to cut off a length, probably about 14 inches, I would say. And I'm just going to make a bow. And <clears throat> as you will see, apparently I couldn't make a bow this day either. So again, <laughs> my fine motor skills were off. After a while, I just kind of give up and put it off to the side and fix it off camera. So, anyway. So to finish it off, I'm just gonna take a gla a gap. Apparently I can't talk today either. A dab of hot glue. And put the bow on. I didn't wanna make the bow too big because I didn't wanna cover up the welcome sign. So there you have it. It's the hanging tobacco basket wall art, whatever you would like to call it. And I really like the way that this turned out. I especially love the la lavender. And here it is on my wall, all finished. I thank you guys for joining me, and we'll see you next time.